David, do you believe that Mr Draghi and the ECB has lost any credibility as a result of the attacks from Wolfgang Schäuble and other German politicians? Look, we've always known that there's been resistance to some of his uh, policies from, from some of the, the, the northern nations and we've known that for a long time so it's not a surprise and uh, it's an open kind of environment it's a democratic process people are entitled to be to be critical and say what they think and he answered some of those criticisms uh, at the last meeting the one that you know went like a ship in the night didn't matter but he knew the criticism before the last one he still continued i thought he's it was got robust exchange i thought yeah, it was really i thought but, jeff's but question to him me. was fantastic I, genuinely i thought that he's, he's he, look I know what we all think of QE, or a lot of people are beginning to think about QE, but yeah. he's right, they're the only ones standing up to try and stick something into the system, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, there is a big defence that Draghi can yeah, and uh, I legitimately think it, claim, isn't there? Uh, yeah, look, it's, and it's a fair democratic process. You know, people uh, you know, are resistant, some people like it, yeah. some people don't like it, it's open debate. And even among the investor community, it's an open debate. Do you know, maybe so, Draghi doesn't like him, so maybe saying, do you know what, I don't really want to do this, but this is my mandate, this is my job, and I'm not seeing any structural reform, I'm not seeing any fiscal reform, I'm not seeing any help from Southern Europe now because the politics are changed and I can't do anything about it. We're the only ones who are actually doing something about it. Um, it's not quite that broad brush, though, is it? I mean, the no, Spanish have it's... actually implemented some reforms. The, the Spanish Italians are the... slowly uh, getting did around. Did you not hear Dan Lacai yesterday? Yeah. Dan Lacai said they've done nothing since 2013, and he lives in Madrid, he's an expert in Madrid, and he said the Spanish haven't been able to because of the Podemos rise, because of the change in the political situation. Three years we've lost now. Yeah, but I think private, the private sector's just got on with it, hasn't it? It's, Which it's it always does. It's carried out the clearing because the government has been in disarray. Yeah, I yeah. mean, when these first quarter GDP numbers come in, I wouldn't be surprised if the Spanish economy looks like the fastest growing economy in the Eurozone. With 20 odd percent unemployment rates still. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, but don't forget those unemployment rates are worked out very differently to other countries, so don't just throw them around. Well, I'm not throwing it around, I'm just staying a fact. They've got <laughs> no, 20 sure, no, no, well, Do you want me to chuck no. in the 40 odd percent youth <coughs> unemployment rate as well, or have I just thrown that no, in, No, but people that are students are included as unemployment rate in other countries, they're not, so just take it easy, okay? Alright, alright, alright. Don't let the facts get in the way of a good story. <laughs>